uh, and it come up, which language would you like the instructions? And I felt a little bit reticent, to be honest, with that fresh in English, because I thought it was going to come up, well, if you can't speak other language, I will you put up anything off, because you must. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got this, yeah, I've got this one coming up in a bit that you're really going to need to get rid of them for. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. So, uh, so all of these, uh, all of these things come to uh, come to a noise, of course, which is, uh, which is uh, how we come to the air, and all these sort of different groups represented and everything, and then. Um, camera people moving about and shuffling about. I'm getting, starting to get nervous now, because bit by bit, as I annoy more people, I'm going to end up in a minority. <laughs> but, uh, but sort of, uh, so many things, of course, that have, that have, uh, have gone on that make it, uh, it seem so ridiculous that we're in this situation. I think most people are confused now. I think there's enormous anger and stuff and, and uh, opposition to the way the world is, but like, confusion. What are we supposed to do about it? And it used to be, of course, the Labour Party did stand in one sense for, or another for some sort of opposition to the free market and war and stuff, but that's that's all, all disappeared now and there's a confusion. I think part, part of it I, I'm not confused about, which is that sometimes I think people ask the wrong question, which is, like, when they're saying, well, what should we do about it? What they're really asking is, what should they do? It's like, who, who else should we elect then that might be better? Not what we should do, but what should they, maybe, you know, I don't know. Is Brown, I don't know, Cameron, Brown, maybe Miliband, I don't know. All those sorts of questions. It's why the classic, the classic political discussion in the... Yeah, go on, you shout, that's right. The, uh, <laughs> But the, uh, the, the classic political discussion is the, is the phoning people, you know, these people who, what's going on? Who are we going to have next? What about this? What about this rubbish? Have you seen this in the papers? Have you got an opinion? Give us a ring. You know, these people and all these, all these people. What about this? Have you seen this in the papers? Apparently you, you can't say it's cold anymore. It might upset the Eskimos. What about that? Have you said that? Maybe you're an Eskimo. Give us a ring. Maybe I'll make it all up. It doesn't matter. I was wondering, they like it all day long, this, because they, they get up in the morning and go, what are we going to have for breakfast this morning? Cornflakes or porridge? What's it going to be? Have you got an opinion? I want to hear it. <laughs> and someone's put the button, I think, of Marmite. Does that offend you? It sickens me. <laughs> So it's all, what should someone else do? You know, it's like in America or Obama. And I can see what people are excited about Obama and stuff, especially, you know, John McCain. This slogan seems to be, this is the end of his speech, is, President, I promise I will put America first. Which is, and then they all cheer, they all, everyone cheers. Which is, as if, like, were they really thinking, yes, well, that's marvellous! Because we were expecting him to go, as President, I'll put New Zealand first. <laughs> Send me off to Vietnam to be tortured. <laughs> Hello, you trying to steal something? <laughs> no. Go on. <laughs> no one knows what it is. They won't miss it. Go on. <laughs> Go on, have it away. Round the pub's a door set. Go on. <laughs> they don't know what it is, but those big tailies out here must be worth something. <laughs> Couldn't come and be in our little gang, little boy. <laughs> so, and, uh, and in America, of course, uh, I love the way that they just sort of they lose all touch with what with what's really happened when they're speaking. Hillary Clinton with uh, some of the most magnificent lies, like when she said that she'd been under sniper fire. <laughs> And then it turned out this was just completely made up, or completely and utterly made up. And the, her answer was, she said, well, when you speak as many words as I do, it's not surprising that some of them turn out wrong. Fantastic, <laughs> excuse for life. I'm talking all day long, of course I said my dad invented magnets and I, I think the world's biggest frozen pea in the loft at home. <laughs> Read sharks for a living. I'm talking about some people who talk more, can't they? Like horse racing commentators. And so there's three furlongs out there. I was coming up to the last fence, and there we are. My dad was the first person ever to go to the moon. Here we are. Brilliant. And Obama himself, who of course inspired in many ways. But, but, uh, and I'm all for simplifying politics, but uh, when his slogan is, his main slogan is, yes, we can. Now, I'm all for simplifying political ideas. But that's Bob the fucking Bill, that is. <laughs> when it gets 
last year into the election, is he going to say, brothers, sisters, blah, blah, weed? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you got that one, didn't you? <laughs> So, oh, you're sweet. You're going to come on in a minute, aren't you? You're creeping on. You think I'm not going to notice? <laughs> <laughs> You've got a tattoo of Sheik Wamara. Are they doing that? Up back? Come here, little boy. <laughs> go on. Freak week. Go on, go on. Your mum will love it. She won't be able to tell you off. Right, you'll be kicked out of kindergarten. Go on here. Go on. It hurts a little bit. You've got to have a little bit of pain when you're free. Go on. I said, oh, because I said about the bendy balloon and the giraffes later. <laughs> yeah, pass the parcel with all these people, it's going to take four days. <laughs> so, so the same thing happens here, here to an extent. Oh, God, that is just so, how do you deal with this? This isn't in the, this isn't in the handbook, is it? Somewhere. Oh, yes, 73G. If you're a stand-up and a two, three-year-old are behind you. <laughs> incessantly, but slightly menacingly. <laughs> okay. I'm lucky we're not in London, they probably have knives. <laughs> so, uh, oh, all right, all right, yes, we've been copying. So are you a sort of scorer of the uh, broken up? You're going to go in Monday. What did you do? Right down in the diary. On Monday, I fucked up a comedian's gig at Tom Cullen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love it sometimes. You go, lefties, with, lefties and parenting is a peculiar uh, thing, isn't it? <laughs> uh, there's, you know, there's some. You, go, you sort of end up going, no, all right. Maybe uh, ten years ago, I wouldn't have agreed with this, but I'm afraid you're being locked in the cupboard under the stairs. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the softy parents, I think, oh, you won't be too bad at couple. Yeah, 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 you won't like this one. <laughs> Got kind of ruthless, you know, shake with her, a bloody ruthless with a gun. <laughs> but I, I think it's fascinating, the softy parents who go, um, uh, they say, I mean, I mean, you're sort of around their house, or oh, worse, when they're around yours, you know, and they, go, they get, they go, oh, look, a big bottle of orange juice. And the parents go, oh, don't tip it up. And you know, oh, no, if this was a question of sport now, and it's not, what happened next? <laughs> You. And, uh, and then they go, right, come out from under that table. Come out, come out. Otherwise, I'm going to count to three. <laughs> well, what sort of threat is that? Like Bill. And then they go, one, two. And of course, then I'm thinking as well, don't come out because I want to know what happens at three. <laughs> and then they go, so it's a big long pause, like in one of them reality shows, just before they announce the winner. Because they're thinking, what the fuck am I going to do if I get to three? And they go, oh, maybe four or something. And I think, no, you've got the three, burn their teddy, something. I think. <laughs> Outside the school, I got my daughter off. There was a there was a, a woman there with a, a, a son. His son wouldn't get out of the car. He was about six, and she's and she said to him, "Right, get out of this car right now. Otherwise, you will never watch television again for the rest of your life." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's fantastic. How do you enforce that? <laughs> but when when he's thirty and you're what, you're sixty three or something. on Mars is tonight, but you remember that night, you're not watching it. <laughs> and even when she dies, you'd have to leave it in his will that everybody has to follow him around turning televisions off. <laughs> in case he gets a sneak preview of the 2060 World Cup or something.